This is the Generation Report. Every now and then, I reread parts of the fourth turning to look for material that might form the basis for a new episode. In considering the events of the past month, I was struck by a passage on page 328. Here's how it reads. The secular winter, that's another way of saying the fourth turning that we're now living through, follows a natural path of compensation as each archetype, those are the generations, confronts its shadow and offers its own contributions. From this, a fourth turning allows a society's survival instincts to emerge. It harnesses all the archetypal strengths to maximum advantage, enabling a society to work through problems that might otherwise destroy it. The reason political philosophy and political philosophers have been around for thousands of years is because societies have always been prone to being shaped by complications which don't reflect human beings' nobler impulses. In Strauss and Howe's effort to both make sense of America's past and to paint the era that was coming in a positive light, it seems they lost sight of that. As important as generations are in determining how the past shapes the future, they aren't the most important shaping influence over that process. Human nature is. And this is something people have known for a very long time. Last April, in a much-talked-about essay published in The Atlantic, Jonathan Haidt invoked the story of Babel in the book of Genesis as a metaphor for what has happened to America. It's an interesting read, and the Babel metaphor probably fits. But Haidt's assertion that social media is singularly responsible for the breakdown in American sense of national unity and common understanding is ridiculous. Disagreements and different ways of seeing the world among groups of people are facts of life and always have been. And history shows that when those differences produce genuine mutual animosities, accompanied by what Friedrich Nietzsche called the will to power, they lead somewhere. This seems to be the threshold that America has crossed. We are now a fractured country where the will to power has assumed its own momentum in determining where events will lead. To expect that some kind of generational solution can transcend the mutual animosities that have built up over many years to produce this situation, at this point, is probably asking too much. Anyway, those are some of my thoughts about what's going on in America right now. Thank you for listening.